Okay, we see here our render is finished, it's take one minute and uh, 30. And here we have more noise, okay? More noise in here, we can also see how to change, how to eliminate this noise have here. For create, for example, here, for eliminate this noise, I can work with the pixel sample. Pixel sample is minimum and maximum if you, for example, have the double. And now we can wait, for example, or we can do the another aspect, for example, so we can take also the opportunity. We can say three and three. But we render with template. And we can wait. It's finished. Okay, the surrender is finished and there is also another thing that is very comfortable when we work, okay. Now if I change here, for example, I can part 6 and 6 and render again, okay, with the and play. It's start to render and is um, also is uh, keep my old render. Okay, it's created for me here number two, and I have here the number one, and here the number two. So I can see, for example, also I can press here, you can see I render where is my mouse, and sometimes it's good, sometimes it's not good because it's blocked. But also here you can see if I press, you see I have some difference, no, I have no more noise. And this is one way for create, uh, for reduce uh, our noise on our uh, rendering. But uh, sometimes it's good because uh, sometimes it's very fast to render, sometimes it takes a lot of time. I see Mantra, it's a very great uh, engine for rendering. But in some cases, I don't understand why it's very, very slow. It's very slow. And for this, uh, maybe you can use also the alternative uh, engine of rendering like uh, Arnold, uh, Renderman, Optan, uh, uh, Redshift, uh, or for example, VA if you want to uh, use uh, uh, something of alternative. With the indie version, you can uh, use the 3D package uh, uh, rendering uh, from the 3D party. But uh, if you don't have the licensee like uh, indie or commercial version, you can't use that because uh, it's not uh, supported. Okay, we can stop at the rendering because it's uh, only understand. For stop render with the press X, you stop it. And now you can see, for example, here is the first render here. You can see more difference. The first render and here the rendering without, uh, um, without noise, no more noise here, okay? And another thing we can see is the difference for algorithm. We can, for example, ray tracing or for example, physical base rendering is physical basic, is based on the physical, um, situation you can have in the real world. You can render and you can see now maybe it's uh, not more difference because we have only the gray material, this basic material. We don't, in true, uh, we don't have any material is uply. But maybe you can see here, no, not change more. But usually, sometimes I use the physical base rendering, sometimes I use the retracing. This depends what uh, you, you need to, to use it. However, you find a lot of information of the very difference between this engine and another engine. And uh, I think it's uh, the good situation is uh, good is micro polygon in more case, and or micro polygon physical base rendering uh, because have and help you a lot for rendering. Okay, we can ask, and we can start also to see the light, also there is the distance light, and here the GI. If I click the GI, essentially the GI is the indirect light and is the environment light, because it's more similar. And you have here the option you can also, you can go here and disable okay 
have only the indirectional light, it's very fast to use, for example, the environment light. In environment light, you have also the one voice, it's the sky environment, and you can enable sky environment. Why I have this and how I can use that. For example, I can delete this and all light. I delete all light and use, for example, here the skylight system. Skylight system by default is create one light, it's called sunlight, and one light is the skylight, okay? The environment light, essentially. With the enable, with the sky environment. If I go in the viewport, you see I have here one system, this is my sunlight, and this is my environment. If I go to the render, so I can come back to camera. Maybe we can change a few this camera. Well, I have a different point of view. If I render, if I, oops, I can go here, mantra node rendering, and it started for me my gameplay. And we see we have these effects, right? Also by default, okay, by default is not see my effects of light, of uh, environment light. So, but uh, I see my effects uh, like uh, there is the gradient here and I see the gradient here is uh, the effects of my uh, situation. Here you can also enable the, your environment if you want and you can enable from the viewport and also from the rendering. So you can see also in the rendering. And this is very comfortable when you use, for example, the HDR image. The HDR image, it's, uh, the image is spherical or uh, uh, panoramic or angular. You can use it for create, for example, the reflection is particular reflection on your element or in your system. It's very nice. Also, we can stop that. And here we can go to the... Um, pop, pop, pop environment map okay render light geometry if i check this okay and i render i can come back here here i don't have the effects for rendering for press rendering and uh, can choose mantra and voila you see your element is your background is here. This is one way for, for example, Appy for create also the effects of uh, your environment light. For example, you have the HDR image you want to show also in the environment. In your render, you can use that for see that. Okay, it's very uh, comfortable that. Also here, I have more control for, for example, uh, use the exposure, for see the exposure, and click here. And this is very nice, nice to see that. Also the HDR, there is one kind of image, we can stop it, because it's taking more time for me now. And we can also use in the environment light, here we can use our environment. For use the specific map, I don't need to use the environment here, but I need it because I see, if, yeah, I uncheck this. And here I have the environment map. Uh, from environment map, I can click here and can I use, for example, have the here the peak. In the peak, you can find some file, it's uh, uh, for example, HDR or RAT. Uh, for example, I can use the DOSH. It's this. And I have here, if I come back in the viewport, I see here I have this uh, environment. Okay. This is the HDR from the DOSH library. And if I come back in camera and render, then I see this in my render. You can just also click here and see here. And you see here, you have your rendering, your background is like your image and also influence your plane. Here, the plane have the same color of 
uh, near this uh, yellow color you can find here. However, now we can see how to create, for example, uh, we can also disable that. Okay. And also you can find also in the environment light, in the environment light you can find here the map light. Okay. Now I want to talk about also we can create a very fast setting. For example, I can create the distance light. Bring up. Can I rotate? And I can create, for example, another environment light or create the effects of our uh, fake or our global animation. However, now I want to show you how to setting, for example, how to work also with the, the material inside our element.